Oh, so guys, today I'm going to be checking the parakeet boxes. Today's Sunday, so today I scrubbed their bowls. I fresh water them like I do every week. I mean, every day. Uh, I check their boxes, and if they have babies, I put uh, two of these latches on there instead of one. And also, if they have babies, they get a full bowl. If they don't have babies, they get half a bowl. Before we start, please subscribe, turn the notification on, like this video, and yeah, I'll start today's video. So I guess I'm just going to set the latches there, and I'm going to go one by one. And if they have babies, like I said, they're babies. Some of these boxes I did check, I mean not check, uh, cleaned yesterday. So, some of them, like this one I cleaned yesterday. And she also laid that egg yesterday, so she has two. These guys already have babies, but we're gonna go out and check and make sure the babies are still alive. Let's hope they are. And yes, they are. And it looks like she, this pair has an albino baby for sure. There's four of them in there. But there's at least one albino, if I can close this box. There we go. These guys don't have babies. But we're still gonna check. Um, looks like eggs. These boxes are very easy to check, which I love. Eggs, no babies. A lot of these guys do have eggs or babies. Uh, the ones that don't have eggs or babies are ones that just uh, ended a clutch. Like this one I cleaned out yesterday because we took. Uh, I took babies from them a few days ago. These guys have babies, but we're gonna go and check on them. Uh, there they are, they're getting big. And like I said, yes, some of these boxes are gonna look gross, but at the same time, the ones that have babies, that's just how the boxes get dirty after each clutch. And then after each clutch, I also clean them out. So this baby, um, it's fixed and I need to be pulled. When I see it out of the box, I'm gonna leave it in here for two weeks. You wanna leave them in the cage for two weeks before you take them. That's when you know they're for sure weaned. These guys also have babies, so we're gonna see how these guys are doing. That's a big, beautiful baby. Um, I think he has a sibling. Or, no, that's the only one, actually. These guys don't have babies. She actually, this guy, this, this girl made me mad. She pulled all her eggs out. She threw all her eggs out of her box for some reason. No point in doing that, but she did. She decided to do it. Clean box though. Now I'm gonna bring the latches down here. So that way I don't have to walk all the way over here if we have any guys that have babies. Because some of these guys have babies that have had the babies for quite some time. And some of them have eggs that they've been setting on that should hatch soon. Fresh box, nothing done with it. I think that's also one of the ones I cleaned out yesterday. These guys have babies. Beautiful little tricolors. Two of them. Um, this pair has a, eggs. I don't know if she's setting or not. Okay, some of these boxes are difficult to clean uh, close sometimes, which is very, very annoying. Hang on. I'll be back with you guys when I get this box closed. All right, I finally got it closed. These guys don't have babies, but we'll see if they have any eggs. Nope, clean box. I all, Most of these guys that don't have eggs or babies in their box is really clean. I'm pretty sure they're the ones I cleaned out yesterday. Same with that pair. You want to clean the boxes out after every clutch. You don't want them being super disgusting. That's just gross. Okay. No babies or eggs. That is for sure one of the pairs we took babies from. I remember that. Let's see. Number 12. They don't have babies, but they don't have anything, actually. That's probably one of the ones I cleaned. 13. I re remember cleaning for sure. Uh, I just cleaned that out yesterday, but I guess they already made it disgusting. Unfortunately, if this box doesn't close, hang on, I'll be right back. Now on to number 14. They don't have babies, but we're going to see if they have eggs. They have eggs. They're all scattered around the place, so I highly doubt she's setting. She might just be free laying for fun. Okay. 
these guys have eggs. Um, now I'm gonna go get the, if I can close this box for, there we go. Now I'm gonna go grab the latches, bring them over here. Like I said, huh. and just, I don't know how long I've had these parakeets. I can't remember guys, but this grass right here is growing fast. This is just grass from all these little parakeet seeds. Number 16, they don't have anything. This is one of the boxes I cleaned the other day because we took babies from them. Close that one. Number 17, one of the ones I cleaned yesterday, so there's nothing in there, unfortunately. Um, number 18, mm, looks like starting another nest. This one had like three babies when we took them. This pair has babies, the females in the box, but that's a baby. And that one to the left is a baby. That's the father to the right. I'm gonna see what she's up in here doing. Nothing, but I need to clean that box out though after I take these babies. Like I said, I clean them out after every clutch. It's just healthy to do that. Number 20, they don't have anything. Uh, nothing. I cleaned this one out yesterday. 21 has babies. Let's see how they're doing. Oh, that's a tiny little baby. And I, this one, this baby, that's a number 21. There was two babies, but that tricolored one that I have, that's pretty much weaned. In five days, it's gonna be done weaning. It's in my room that you just watched in Baby Bird Sunday yesterday, if you watched that video. If you didn't watch that video, go check it out. Um, but there was a tricolor one that was huge, about that big, that I took out of here. Now it was a sibling. If you have a baby that's like this big, and you have babies that are like that big, you want to take the big ones, or the little ones are going to probably get abandoned because the big ones beg and beg and beg and cry for their food. 22 doesn't have anything. Uh, nothing. I'm assuming that's one of the ones I cleaned out yesterday. I didn't mark who I cleaned out. I just was going... Whoever's box looks disgusting because they just got done with a clutch and they don't have babies. I cleaned. Number 24 has eggs. Kind of buried in like shavings and stuff for some reason. Number 25. I gotta fix this because this box is getting wet. That's not healthy. If the box gets wet. Eggs. Good. She was, she's setting too, okay? So I see her in here every, every week. I'll be right back when I get this box closed. All right, so none of these breeder parakeets needed any latches, meaning none of them had babies that I didn't already know about, unfortunately. But I can't necessarily say, unfortunately, I got to give some of the girls a slack because um, we took a bunch of babies. There was eight of them and some had one, some had four, some had, you know, and then I got this pair right here where's that this pair right here that i'm going to uh take the two babies matter of fact probably today or i'll wait another week i can't remember when they came out of the box all the babies over here that i'm selling are doing good these are the ones like i told you that are excess uh ones that i've that were mature females that i don't have a male for that i'm selling babies that i took from the parents that are weaned baby uh one that got beat up that i can't sell until four months from now because obviously i have to let it heal can't sell a bird looking like that because unfortunately the dad beat him up unfortunately but we have 10 more boxes to check these four breeders and my six breeders and um my aviary I need to fix these guys' roosting poles. This was set in cages. I like this roosting pole and that other roosting pole because they're always attached to the um, wire. These two wooden dowel perches broke, so I need to <sighs> I need to um, buy a three foot long wooden dowel for to put through the whole cage. Doesn't look like this pair's doing anything. And then again, these pairs are not bonded. These were mature pairs that i got to and paired them up but hopefully they like each other uh not doing anything kind of to be expected these are not i repeat not bonded pairs so you know and then these guys 
nothing in their box you can't see it but i can see it uh nothing in their box none of these guys have babies which i kind of to be expected because they haven't been with each other for a while i can't remember what day i got the parakeets but i don't think i've had them for longer than two weeks so, so yeah now time to check my breeder pairs inside of the aviary i really hope that i'm pretty sure that they should have babies these guys are the ones that i've had for the longest and the ones that have been breeding for the longest um i do however expect for some of these boxes to not look the best because i need to clean them out i haven't had time Whew, there were so many boxes to clean out the other day it was so hot so dusty because it was so hot and the dirt and everything rolling uh moving around and crap all right walking into the aviary it's kind of dark in here for some reason but um yeah time to check these guys i don't put uh i don't put a latch on these cages if they have babies the reason for that is these guys i've never used latches for these cages the other two the other ones have small bowls that look like those bowls and so basically that's how i calculate the food for the other pairs but these pairs i just do it my way with the uh mix and match bowls that i've been using since i got these parakeets in here i do have more of those small bowls right there though that i can do that and i probably should do that i'm also going to build the food cases but some of these the wire needs to be bent back some of these the wire needs to be bent more some of them the wires are straight like it's supposed to be so yeah, time to check boxes now you guys know when i check boxes in these boxes i mean when i check for babies in these parakeets boxes i have to turn the flash on it doesn't look like there's any babies in there she always has eggs never babies and i'm thinking she's not even like getting rid of the rotten eggs she just sets on them for that box needs to be cleaned out that is from the last clutch um i believe that was i picked two limes this is my two limes i mean this is my lime pair they always do good with their babies uh, I need to clean her box out, but she has nothing, though. This is a... I for sure need to put shavings in this box. I haven't put anything in here. This is a green female. Big female, for some reason. With a turquoise male. Yep, that box needs to be cleaned out. It doesn't look like they have anything. The camera's gonna go every which way with these boxes. This is a blue pair to a blue pair. She's in the box, so hopefully she has something eggs it looks like this pair this female's new just got her not too long ago and put her with this male nothing in there but i will clean that box out that is a regular blue male of a light colored blue female so yeah well that is how i check my boxes if you enjoyed seeing all these adorable little babies inside of their boxes and some of the boxes not having babies unfortunately and then if you did please leave a like down below subscribe and turn notification on for now guys peace